morning, good morning, good morning. Well, when I was in Mexico at the last minute, I changed my ticket and I came to Salt Lake to visit some family and friends for a few days. And um, when I was flying in, I could see the mountains. I'm like, oh, Mount Tempanogos, I've always wanted to climb it. I'm gonna do it while I'm here. So I'm doing it today. I actually started at 4.30 this morning to get a head start on it. So I had my headlamp on. It was a full moon, it was gorgeous. So sometimes I could turn my hand lamp off, headlamp off. So here's my funny story. I had my headlamp off. I could um, see a runner coming up behind me. I could see his headlamp because uh, I'm kind of mountain runner. He's going faster than me. And I heard him clear his throat. So I thought he saw me and I stepped like just one, two steps off the trail. And then, and when he got right beside me, we we're only like a foot and a half apart and we were shoulder to shoulder. And I just turned and said, good morning. And when I did, he about jumped out of his shoes. He never saw me. He's like, well, you got my adrenaline going. So it is just absolutely gorgeous today and I can't wait to get to the top. Top of the mountain it was freezing windy and cold and my hands I could hardly feel them and I got into that little shelter and there was a gentleman in there and um, he I didn't have my gloves I'd left them in my other pack so he loaned me some gloves and some hot hands so I could warm up and um, he left before I did he goes you'll catch up with me and I did after a while and when I caught up with him we got to talking and oh my gosh, he was the most fascinating person. He has been on five space missions. That's pretty incredible. And he um, had been a, and he went through, he started as a test pilot, a fighter pilot, and went through the Top Gun school. And um, was able to talk about stuff that it's hard sometimes to find people to talk about with. Like we talked about um, like spooky action from a distance and, and talking about the physicist that just won the Nobel Prize for that and proving Einstein's theory. And we talked about, like I asked him what were his favorite parts of a mission, like the takeoff, doing the work and the studies or the re-entry. And he said, all of it is just really, really special and um, described each of them for me. So it made the coming down go super fast. I'm like, I gotta ask this guy as many questions as I can. I'm like, why should we go to Mars? And he answered that question. And he says, if we wanna find another planet like ours, we have to get outside our solar system. And the best way to get outside our solar system is to first get to Mars. <laughs> that was like getting to first base. So um, it's just super fascinating. Absolutely beautiful day today. Could not have asked for better weather, um, except at the top. 
So you go up and then the last mile, you're totally exposed and on the other side of the mountain, it's super windy. And um, it was worse than anything I had on the AT. It was miserable. And, and plus I was at such high altitude because it was over 11,000 feet, I was sick to my stomach. So the whole time I'm trying to warm up my hands, I'm also was trying to keep from throwing up. But once I got down um, from there and started headed down, the upset stomach went away, so that was good. Beautiful day to hike, and um, it was 15 miles, or just under 15 miles round trip, and glad I did it. Happy trails, all.